Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back. Welcome to Code Academy's lesson and we are here to talk about the new PHP track that's been introduced and their new user interface. And this is pretty much what a lot of people had been rambling on, whether you call it rambling or complaining. This is what everybody pretty much wanted. And it's it's been an onslaught that they and they just finally incorporated it um but right off the bat only 10 questions so far this is their old user interface and this is their new one boom look at that don't that look pretty this looks pretty right here this looks pretty pretty this looks pretty guys it just looks stunning um code wise I don't know how this is going to translate into when I'm editing my video but this is pretty much what it looks like once you run the code and PHP is basically a server um client kinda language which basically means it can talk to databases it can send cookies evaluate the data and build dynamic web pages so it's kind of like JavaScript except those two are two completely different things. PHP like you can store information and pull it up. So you can link up PHP and MySQL. You can link PHP with Glassfish which is a server for Java. You can link PHP to pretty much almost any database. You store your information and you retrieve it for later use. That is what PHP does. P cookies basically um, means that it saves your information, your data, whatever. So when you come back, it's already there. It already knows your name, your age, whatever you want it to know that you provided the information for. Whether sometimes whether you give it, um, whether you give it that permission or not, evaluates form data. So when you, when you make a form in HTML. If you if you do it right and you and you've successfully made it look clean enough and it looks pretty if you clicked the submit button it will not take you anywhere because you need PHP guys you need PHP to actually make the form work PHP or JavaScript or a host of other things like um, Ajax or whatever but PHP is primarily the place to go um, and build dynamic web pages pretty much all three of these can be used to make a dynamic web page it, it's just it's on a different level it's one of the most popular languages and here we are about to see it in action really quick so all this lines of code this entire line of code 49 lines makes this one makes all of this pretty much so yeah let's dive right in and I hope you guys are excited because I am I've never actually worked with PHP before because I cannot configure my server on a computer I don't know why but submit you get the green check mark let's do this and basically what they want us to do is whoa it restarted everything for me again I don't know why basically if you've done any track before in Code Academy, you should know that they want you to get the basics of learning how to print text on um on the document that you're that you're in. So this is what happens when we input it. And basically what this is is this is our standard HTML setup. HTML head link and you have to link it up to CSS just like you have to link it up with JavaScript title this is all standard except this is where it gets weird um you put you typically want to put PHP inside your body and we want to edit this one particular paragraph so we put it inside the paragraph and this is how you this is how you know it's a PHP um that you're working with you do this question mark PHP and echo basically means print and same rules apply um, 
apostrophes if you want it to be a string leave it blank if you want it to be like a number and to close it you have to put a you have to put the semicolon you have to put a question mark and you have to put another tag whoops don't want to do that um i'm up to five minutes so i'm just gonna speed right through this that's pretty much it for that part so we're moving on to numbers numbers is pretty much what i just told you guys if you guys were even paying attention it's as easy as question mark php what i what i like to do is set these things up first so i don't have to go back and re revise them so we want to do echo 40 plus 2 and we should get 42 printed out on the screen let's see what we get 42 42 go to the next lesson um The next lesson wants us to, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, the next lesson, that's that's it for this, for this bit of exercise, whatever you want to call it. So one last thing, PHP, it started with this. Echo basically means print. We are adding numbers and because they are numbers and not strings, we do not need an apostrophe semicolon to end that and to end up PHP question mark and just this um this is Henry 1502 Inc like add comment below subscribe I'm out